Well, well, well. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Welcome back. What more can I say than welcome back? Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully you're having a good morning, afternoon or evening. And more than likely by now, you've seen this video. And ah, eh, it's been two years. It's been two years since I reacted to Let's Game It Out. November 11th of 2022. And uh, we released a wave of reaction videos then on Satisfactory. Why? Because I was doing a marathon stream in September of 2022. And uh, Let's Game It Out tortured me in my Twitch stream with flashbangs. You think I'm joking? And I was like, Josh, if you keep doing this, I'm going to react to your videos on Satisfactory. And he was like, do it. <laughs> like Lord Palpatine. But if you're wondering why, because some people ask me till this day, why do you not react to his other stuff? It makes no sense. I'm not just going to do it just for the sake of it. The only reason I do the satisfactory stuff, I've played the game since March 19, 2019. I've got 12,000 hours in the game. I know the game like the back of my hand. And my community was built off me playing and gaming satisfactory. That's the only reason. So <sighs> we've got to watch this now, haven't we? So here we go. And if you guys have never seen the factories that I create, I make factories like this. In today's video, I want to turn this turbo fuel plant into... So you can see why my inner core does not accept <laughs> the chaos. I have I have to live with this now for the rest of my life. <laughs> but little disclaimer, yes, I'm going to pause the video throughout. And I'm going to talk to you about some stuff. Um, and um, I'll put his links in the description, as always. And um, just remember, Satisfactory is a game you can just have fun on. And you can do whatever the hell you want. There's no wrong or right... <laughs> <laughs> except what Josh does. All right. Uh, uh, I'm just going to jump into this. So uh, let's do this. It's 28 minutes. It's 29 minutes. Oh, no. It's Josh, welcome back to Let's Game It Out. Yeehaw, oh, it's time for Satisfactory. The game is officially out after many years in early access, which means it's time for us to <sighs> jump back in and see what new wild stuff we can do. <laughs> My save game still works, by the way. In the same years, save game I've been, been using for the stuff. last five years. But a lot has changed since the game first started, and nothing yeah, is more telling than looking at our unlocks. Like, at some point, this whole menu <laughs> got confused. Some stuff is updated, some stuff isn't. I can't even tell what's new and what's not. What's scaring me is I know what new quality of life features they've added over the years, over the last two years since he released his last video. And I'm dreading to see what he's going to do with it. And obviously we've got the quantum stuff now. And I, don't, I, I can't even remember. I don't even think um, Plutonium was in the game back then when he played. I can't remember. No, it was because that was update four. Not anymore. I'm so for that reason, we're going to leave all this behind. I don't think he's seen the nuclear stuff in regards to nuclear bombs. I don't think he's seen that stuff yet and dive into a brand new world. Hey, speaking uh, of diving in, you ever thought about diving into a new browser? What about Opera GX, the browser for gamers? You ever just want to have a little more fun with your web browser? Because with Opera GX and the GX mods, you can. Over in the GX store, you can choose from a huge amount of official and user-made mods, including the Let's Game It Out mod, and change your background music. Oh, no. Keyboard clicks. Oh, no. <laughs> Open and closing tab sounds. Hey there, it's Josh. A dedicated wallpaper. Different. Wait, so if you was to spam the tabs, it's gonna go, hey, it's Josh, hey, it's Josh. Different themes and colors, and you can mix and match to your heart's content. Finally, you can use the LGIO mod and have my voice obnoxiously talking. when you open a new tab while you enjoy this tapestry of medieval goodness, but with some lo-fi in the background. 
I kind of dig that wallpaper. Just like lie. they had in medieval times. And I love to highlight this other feature in Opera GX, because I find it really useful, and that's the GX Corner. This is where you can easily keep up with new game releases, what's on sale, gaming news, and all kinds of other stuff. And you can customize the layout any way you want. Oh, and also, switching from another browser is super easy, and can be done in seconds. So if this sounds good to you, use my linky in the description, and start- I will put his link- so go and support him as the pinned comment. So if you want to support Josh with this sponsor, I will put his link as the pinned comment in the chat, in the comment, in the chat, in the comment section. Start Opera GXN for free today. And thanks again to them for sponsoring. And now let's see how things are going over and hey, no, wait, pay attention oh, to me. Oh God, well, that was great. Brand new yes, safe. everything looks good outside. I am very excited about what I am seeing. What <sighs> awaits us this time, only time will tell. Okay, let's get- I think one thing he missed, uh, I, 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 well, in this video, for those that don't know, in 1.0, there's a whole, Ada has been revamped, all right? So she's got new dialogue and everything. And when she's dropping down, she actually says, deploying parachute. And then the, the, the parachute, then, uh, then Ada comes up saying, failed to deploy parachute and then it comes up again saying using emergency parachute <laughs> so i'm surprised it didn't pick up on get that. out there I'll see what's the video. going on oh and can't forget our all-purpose doohickey that i lovingly fondle with my thumb okay first things first you drop pod let us deconstruct you for parts and the next thing up is we need to do a scan for the satisfactory building blocks of life iron ore where are you show They're me basics. and we'll see up here on our little radar where it is target acquired Bing. let's go take a gander the game is also prompting me to pick up leaves along the way, which is excellent because we got these excessive little grabby hands that'll just <laughs> suction up anything we get close to. And don't worry, you take as much as you can. Go ahead and be greedy. Oh, and there's our target now. A place oh to get some iron ore. Well, let's hop on down there and... <sighs> so like I said, I'm going to be pausing it throughout this reaction video. This is a very strong iron location, by the way. There's six pure iron nodes here. Not like you care. Not like you care, but what I, I don't know... See, this is the knowledge that I know, and what I don't know where he's going to take all of these six pure iron nodes. We're fine. Hey, you, get away from that. I have a stun prod for such an occasion. In fact, Bean. even though it's walking away from it, I need a beauty bubble. Get out of here. Bean, it's okay. It's okay. Do not look. <laughs> Do not look. <laughs> Oh Here. boy. <laughs> yeah, that'll teach it. Anyway, back over to this. All we really need to do is approach it cautiously but optimistically and hold down E to do a little mining. And after a couple of quick taps, victory is ours. Truly, we are conquerors. There is more where that came from, though. We can just keep on hitting this thing. And really, why wouldn't you? And now we have in our inventory all the things we need for right now. Leaves, wood, and finally iron, which we're going to use to build the hub, the heart of your factory. Let's see. Where do we want to- So, I I'm now curious if this is the- the start of a new series that he's gonna do uh i'm i'm gonna guess so and then see where he's gonna adapt this playthrough for 1.0 because so much has been added put this it would make sense for us to put it somewhere accessible but we don't normally do that so i'm not gonna start now i am a big fan if we can make this work which doesn't seem to want to be the case but hang on maybe i just need to go up there first i mean if there can be grass surely there can there be is a base, a way. right sadly apparently not i can't seem to find a place where it'll let me do it we did however find one of these guys <laughs> look at that it's a power oh no well it was good while it lasted all right, fine. We'll put it on top of this nice puddle. There we go. It looks so good. And also kind of naked. Where's the roof and stuff? And where am I hearing this mewing noise? What is that? And where is... Oh, oh. hello. Oh, yeah. I forgot all about... The cats are more s terrifying than the actual spiders themselves. So if you've never played Satisfactory, this is <clears throat> this is Satisfactory's arachnophobia mode. And turning around and seeing them, seeing them big in eyes charging at you is more terrifying to me than the actual spiders. About this. These are supposed to be spiders, but I turned on arachnophobia mode, and so your visor in-game overlays a cat face on top of it. How's that for sweet in-game lore? Anyway, whatever. Doesn't mean we're not gonna come over here and smack it. Well, hopefully that Kill takes em. care of that little Burn problem. Em. You know, I, I don't I think it's going to. Something tells me there's more cats down here. Oh, good. There's another one. Quietly hiding from us. Well, no time like the present. Come here. Okay, much better. So we got two components of this thing. We got the crafting bench, where we can mm -hmm. handcraft stuff like iron ingots. He's where we just push the big old craft button well. and watch the magic <clears> happen. <throat> one beautiful ingot at a time. And then over here, we have the hub terminal, which we can open up, select a tier. In this case, tier zero. Choose the next milestone we're going to work on. Bask in the amazing 
amazing unlocks we get. Then we select the milestone, and it sits here and demands stuff from us. In this case, whatever this is. Iron rods, which we make by taking iron ingots and turning them into rods. You know, mm -hmm. kind of like going over to the crafting bench. What, I, what I'm terrified right now is the three hours later meme that's probably going to come up because I can't see how he's going to do crazy things in the onboarding process. I'm nervous. <laughs> Heading on over to the side, selecting iron rod, and then craft a whole bunch of those. And then we drag what we need over there. Then it's like hub upgrade ready, ready to upgrade the hub. I'm sorry, I just don't understand. Could you say upgrade and hub one more time? Oh, hey, and you did. Thank you. It's also clear to me now. Okay, we did it. And for our troubles, we now have a frame. And that's how it goes. Now we can do hub upgrade too. Just like the first upgrade, which gave us an equipment workshop, portable miner, and another hand equipment slot. Hub upgrade too gives us stuff like a smelter, power line, copper ingot, wire, cable and another thing we can scan. What a deal. And now Copper. they need more stuff. In this case, iron rods and iron plates. No problem. We'll just go ahead and craft these. And then once that's done, upgrade again. And then watch as more stuff appears. Oh my goodness, now there's a room. And it's under construction. Just is it, I, I, I'm curious if, it, if eventually he's going to try and put nuclear waste in the toilet. Because 1.0 released. <laughs> Changed the hub interior and added a whole bloody toilet. So you can kind of flush things. So, and yeah, you can flush nuclear waste. Just like my GeoCities page. Oh, and also a chest for like hiding stuff in an organized manner. That's kind of what containers are, right? And what might this other room be? Ooh, empty. How full of possibilities. I hope something exciting happens with my crying corner. And we'll <laughs> know when we do hub upgrade three, which incorporates not just plates and rods, but also something new. It's wire made from copper, which now we need to go find. No problem. That's what scanning's for. Come here, copper ore. Where are you? Excellent. Bing. Only 195 miles away. I mean, meters. Mile meters. Whatever. What do I look like, a <laughs> physicist? The only thing that matters to me is we found the owl. Found the ore. Step one, hit the top part until it explodes. And then go for the pure copper ore chewy center. And then back <laughs> over at the thingamabob. Take that copper, make it into ingots, which we then turn into wire. Feed the machine. Upgrade the thing. Oh my goodness. And also look at this. It looks like we now have a bed chamber. I call top bunk. And not just that, <laughs> but look over here. We oh, got no. our best friend. Friend. Oh, and not just that. You can actually use the toilet. Here, take some of this copper I made. And by that, I mean one copper. And then we uh -huh. flush it. Yes, excellent. Get it all over the floor and my <laughs> shoes. Okay, great. And now back to rapid fire upgrade. Select milestone. Add the stuff that it needs. See, there's a thing I don't have. See that it's concrete. And then see that I can scan for limestone. Uh, and then I go find the limestone. Yeah, Excitedly <laughs> slide on the ground to get to it. Triumphantly <laughs> defend ourselves from the local wildlife. Thank you for your sacrifice and then stabby stabby until I extract a lot of stuff. Turn that limestone frown upside down by turning it into concrete. Shove it in the <laughs> machine. High five. You can just hear his own pain when he's doing this. Because this, this part is the whole onboarding process, right? Teaching you how to kind of start the game. Find your limestone. Find your copper. Da da da. Go over the, go over the, the different uh, milestones just to reach tier one and two we can start ultimate things I've that button and so on and so <laughs> forth give the thing to the thing push the thing watch as things change again it's just come to me obviously as a 1.0 the 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 the, <laughs> the biomass burners has inputs is he going to make a giant stack of biomass burners for power i think i actually can't tell the difference on this one head back in go to hub of upgrade six laugh heartily at the things it wants because it's so easy for us and before you know it we're not even alone on this planet anymore oh my goodness look at this we've made a friend are you trying to land how about i just stop you what do you think of that oh i'm just kidding i didn't mean what i said come on back down everything's safe I know, just delete. kidding oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh oh Okay, I think I've worked it out of my system. I swear, I'm actually gonna let this thing land this time. And scene. Our very own transport pod thing. At least I oh think boy. that's what it is. The good news is tier zero is done. Now we're on to glorious tier one, which is gonna be the foundation for all kinds of stuff. Here's what I plan to do with our little base here. I want everything to come to me. I don't wanna have to wander all over the place to find stuff. I wanna be able to look at my base and be like, ah, oh, yes, that old thing. I can find anything I- He's found the advanced game settings to fly around. <laughs>
I need here. Now, I know what you're thinking. That sounds kind of organized. Don't worry. It'll be fine. Head on up to the stuff sticking out the top. Smack, smack, explode. And then, luckily, to make new stuff, we don't have to go back to base. We can just make it on site here with the crafting bench and the equipment workshop. It's like having a convenience store anywhere you want it, and it's only for you. Anyway, they're worth keeping around for stuff I may need, because you can build actual equipment here. In this case, a portable miner, because we need mm -hmm. a few of these, because they're needed to make the bigger miners. Okay, now we can take this little mining building, and it snaps right on to the node. And there it is. What a beaut. And now that that's done, we're gonna scan for all the various nodes nearby, and then put miners down on all those two. And we'll know when our work is done, because they'll have a check mark next to them. Which means that all four Please of these ones right here will go belts. from just being white like <laughs> this to looking more belts. like this. I mean, one of them doesn't have one. Because while a lot of these built just fine, for some reason we're having trouble overcoming this giant boulder in the way. Anyway, that handles all the iron nodes for now, as well as any nearby copper nodes, and also this lime stone one. And now that that's done with, it's time for my favorite part. The part where we attach conveyor belts to this mysterious black hole where stuff comes out. Okay, out you go, little conveyor belt. Oh, we'll just do no. a quick one so we can see how it oh, looks. Oh, no. Ah, uh, yes, it's perfect. There's no minerals coming out yet because we haven't given the thing power, which is why this is pulsing red. We're gonna run these conveyor belts first, all the way back to our hub. And that means running all the belts. And in fact, why oh, not have no. this one oh, zigzag no, 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 across no. this one? No. Yeah, like how good this looks. Finally, a little art. Anyway, they're all connected now. <laughs> Now, and I decided that this little corridor is going to be the central thoroughfare, you know, for all of our conveyor belt needs. And I do mean all of them. And eventually they all do stop right around here, right outside of the hub. And now the next thing up is getting electricity working, which over on our base thingy is where these things come into effect. Behold, biomass burners. You remember all those leaves we collected? Well, now we'll be able to use them for something. Delicious fuel. But first we need to run power to everything. So we'll just drag a power line you from that thing over to here. Josh? Yep, like that. And there's two of them, so we gotta do it twice. There we go. Connected them both. And now it's just about running these power lines pretty much anywhere we want. In the water? Fine. All the way up here onto this thing? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, now everything is connected. And now back over at the biomass burners. The only thing left to do is pull the switch and watch I did tell him as I blow a fuse. What do you mean? Is this not enough power? What do I gotta do math to figure this out? Oh, I see. I have to do a little reading. It looks like all of our factories consume upwards of 45 megawatts. And it looks like each one of these generators do 20 megawatts. Uh -huh. Luckily, we can build these biomass burners all on their own, which is actually far more convenient anyway. Because instead, I'm gonna build them over here near this stuff. Just like one here, and also one right there, and then maybe one here. And what the hey, why not a fourth one? And right between all of them, we're gonna put a storage container. Which inside this thingamabob, we're gonna shove all of our plant matter that we found. Ah, but that doesn't feel like enough. We can do better than that. Well, with all this glorious foliage out here, might as well just run around and siphon it all up. I like to think of it as doing a little landscaping. Whoops, looks like we missed some bushes. And Why whatever did I that see is, that no problem, easily handled. Gimme and gimme, and you get a little nudge. Oh, I'm sure it's just Poor sleeping. Bed. Anyway, now we have plenty of stuff. Actually, more than enough stuff. This container's all the way filled, and we have so many more leaves left. Well, that's fine. We'll just build more of these. How about four, in fact? One for each generator. Now all we need to do is run some conveyor belts in an organized fa- He could have just simply just gone into the machine. Fashion, each to their own generator, just like so. And there they go. And then making their way to these various generators ah! to do the hard work so we don't have to. Let's go ahead and reactivate our power. Ah, there we go. And look, there it goes. The true mining has begun. Yes, that's the spirit. Minerals oh for days. This isn't the end of their journey, though. These minerals do eventually reach the end of their conveyor belt. And near the base, too, we got this really cool-looking monument thing. And you know what I especially like about it? It's verticality. Which kind of has me wondering, can we just build stuff, like, above this? For that, though, we're gonna have to unlock some stuff. Over here in the Tier 1 base building milestone, we're gonna need to use some of these foundations. So let's feed the base. Oh, joy, and now it's back to a fancy button. One, two, three, launch. And there goes our supplies right into the upper atmosphere. Or are you? Buh bye bye <laughs> Yeah, I don't actually know if that's gonna affect some stuff. I'll just put the hub back down and I guess we'll learn together. What I can tell you is the thing is still gone. And if I look directly into the sky, ah, beautiful clear skies and one weird little pixel. Hey, what is that pixel anyway? Wait a minute, that's the thing I eliminated from existence. Oh, wait, it's coming back, apparently. Oh, and here <laughs> it is. Again. Okay, I see. We're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Milestone exchange con 
included. Okay, well, great. Now we have foundations, which is what we're going to use to build above our hub. At least that's the plan. Let's do some vertical building and see if it works. And it sure... Josh. 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 Why did you not just use the four meter? <laughs> why did you not just use the big ones? <laughs> why the ones? <laughs> you could have built four of them things to get to the same height instead of flipping... 30. <laughs> Seems to be. We can build a cross, too. Well, so far, so good. This does appear to be directly above the base. And now the question is, can I build something on top of this? Let's mm. experiment by putting a smelter there. Smelt or into can, ingots. The, yep, the, looks like it's possible. The aircraft will we'll fly through it. put that right in the middle. And then from here, we're going to do some more building up. And then a cross to make an entirely new level again. Well, is and he then I can build place a another smelter. Okay, great. Yes, this is looking oh so great so far. <laughs> So, just so you guys are aware, there is something in Satisfactory, and it's a little challenge called a 5x5 five five challenge. Which is where you get five foundations long and five foundations wide, and you got the challenge is to try and build a 5x5 five five tower. In Josh's case, a 3x4. <laughs> is he doing one, one layer for each smelter and i kind of like having just one machine per floor gives us room to grow up that is and with us having all of these materials here we're gonna need a lot more than two smelters good thing i spent some time building more stuff oh, oh boy God, it looks like each one is a little higher. less lined up than the last and now all we need to do is all. run these things all the way up there honestly shouldn't be too hard if i just click and then hold i can make these go a little bit higher and then thankfully from here we can just get it to connect all the way up here like this ah that was easy in fact you know what I think we have too much space up here. Let's go ahead and highlight these three things and trim this down to a perfect three by three grid. And then let me rephrase what I just said. He's now doing a three by three challenge. There we go. Nice and even. Now, what we need to do is connect this thing right here, making sure to connect every machine to minerals with a whole beautiful system of dragging our stuff up as oh, high as it'll go. No. And what an eyesore, too. Mmm, who doesn't love their spaghetti airborne? I know I do. Okay, so now we've got a couple of things covered, like copper ingots, as well as iron ingots. And we've also got limestone turning into concrete. Oh, and you know, I gotta wonder something. If we go over here and use the hub and then launch another pod, is this thing gonna be able to leave? Yeah. Yep, doesn't look like anything's gonna stop this. Well, that's nice to know. Besides, I don't think it's going anywhere anyway. I think it's just gonna stay up there till it comes back down. And then when it makes its return trip, it does the same thing, using the platforms for leverage before landing smoothly. The future's got cool technology. Now, the next thing we need to work on is building the space elevator, which if you look at it in our building stuff, shouldn't be that hard to build. In fact, I already have most of the things we need. This concrete in particular should be pretty easy. All I have to do is step off the edge, drop down a floor, and wouldn't you know this one's making concrete now this wire on the other hand we don't have a machine for this but we do now and belt goes in there to make wire though we need this belt to connect to copper which is down here somewhere at least i think it's down here ow oh yeah there it is and we're gonna want to send it out of the other side of this container okay so let's pull the copper out through here send the conveyor belt over yonder and then just find a place where it'll work build that piece too and then before you know it copper has arrived at our constructor and out comes the wire giant beautiful spools of copper in fact while we're at it since we're gonna need stuff that makes iron plates iron rods screws and cables i went ahead and built constructors for those too we got iron ingots going in to turn into iron plates not to <sighs> my brain is slowly bleeding over and over again and over again mention other iron ingots popping out to make iron rods iron rods that are then getting transported all the way to the top conveyor belt and then shoved into another machine to make screws and of course we can't forget about the copper wire which goes in looking like this and then comes out looking like cable and now that we have all the supplies we need let's build the space elevator oh god you know looking at it now i don't think this is gonna fit it seems a little too big for the space provided okay just this once we're gonna I, I was just about to say he's probably gonna extend the foundation and remove the foundation and put it back to a three Make by three. Make this platform bigger. Okay, there we go. The impossible is Unless now possible. The and there it goes getting built. And if I recall, it does a little song and dance or whatever we want to call this. And then I think something else is supposed to happen, but I can't remember quite what it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, never mind. I remember now. It's burned into my memory forever. And there you have it. Our very own space elevator. And what's that above this? Is that new? It looks like there's more stuff up there. I Project assembly.
Guess we'd have a better idea if it wasn't so cloudy. Well, either way, let's see what this has to offer to us. So basically, we need to get through phase one, also known as make smart plating. 50 to be exact. And you're probably like, what are smart plates? Well, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> we actually unlock another tier two under part assembly, which also unlocks a bunch of other advanced stuff. Assemblers, rotors, modular frames, all of which I think we're gonna need to build that thing. Well, be careful there. You're gonna hit the space elevator on your way up to that thing. Oh, hey, we can see it now. Oh, and I guess that's where our little transport thing goes. <laughs> up to the mothership. And now that this is unlocked, this is how it's gonna work. We need to shove components into here so that it can get sent up here to whoever lives up there. Although first I need to know if we can keep building up, because I sure would like to know if we can keep building vertically, since it's oh so fun. And the good- And he's still using the one meter foundations just to build <laughs> vertically. The news is it looks like we can indeed build right through it. I think it's highlighting yellow to let us know it's gonna clip through things. As mm -hmm. if we care. In fact, I think it looks better better this way. Wait, did he play update five? I don't think he did update five. I'm trying to think like in two years, there's been, I think three updates. Cause he's obviously there's Unreal Engine five now, which coming update eight. Then we had the weapons update and uh boom box update and quality of life stuff. But I don't, yeah, maybe you played update five. I can't remember. Anyway, this is how smart plating works. To make it, we need these two things. Reinforced iron plates and rotors. Once we have both of those things, we can run a belt from each into this assembler. But to make reinforced iron plates, we'll have God, to combine plates and screws. And rotors are a combo of rods and elevator. screws. So basically, we need three assemblers. Well, I guess it's a good thing I built those <laughs> then. Now it's just a matter of configuring each one. You will make reinforced iron plates, which means hopping down here. This won't kill me, will it? Oh, nice somersault. And by that, I mean using the conveyor belts to climb all the way back up. Pull a conveyor belt out of here, which is where the iron plates are coming from, and then send them past the space elevator using this absolutely abysmal looking system to get the plates up there. But hey, it's hard to argue with success. <sighs> There's nothing wrong with this image. I said nothing. If there wasn't the stands that the belts are standing on was not going on the belts, it would be fine. It would be a work of art. But because the stands for the conveyor belts are clipping through the iron plates, my brain is going to go mad. All that matters is that they made it to the machine. And then we just head on over to the screws and do it again. And yes, by do it again, I of course mean to add on to this thing. Ah, uh, yes. Oh what a God. visual splendor. And now we only need to do this four more times. Thankfully for when we're going to make rotors, one of the things we're going to need is screws, which thankfully we already have up here. So all we really need to do is run a splitter. And once we have that, we can just split them off and feed them into the next machine. And similarly with these rods, we're going to use a splitter and use that to send rods up above. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, come with me. Join this masterpiece. And now that we have the reinforced iron plates being made, as well as the rotors, we just have to wait for them to do their thing until we have enough of them. Then it's time to take them and feed them into the next machine where they will make the smart plating. And then that smart plating goes into the space elevator. Wow, just look at it go. And that means loading is done. And now seal it with a kiss and watch as it plunges. And now Is he going to watch the video? Oh, and it looks like it's getting ready to send. Or is it? Can't be too sure about that. Distribution platform completed. Yeah, it looks real complete to me. Oh, it's so peaceful all of a sudden. What about you up there? Oh, hey, that thing's still up there. Whoa. Oh, and it seems to be growing exponentially. Either I pissed it off or this is what happens when you feed the space elevator. I wonder if they're as confused as we are how it built off nothing. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> we'll just go ahead and put it back where it was now. As we watch it build up and through all of our stuff. I, did, I didn't expect it to do that. Because normally when you do it, you have the space elevator built. You're watching it get built and it removes all the clouds so you can visibly see what's, what it's being built. And then it just comes back to normal and the thing's still there. But he deleted the space elevator, so now he just went into the void. Again. Oh, uh, it's so weird every time. I couldn't help but notice this thing is still taking the smart plating. And the reason for that is phase two needs not only those a whole thousand what what I th what you guys don't understand right uh, especially if you don't play satisfactory is there has been a lot of performance tweaks right there's been a lot of performance tweaks in this last uh, few updates right we've, we've gone from like i said unreal engine 4 to unreal engine 5 they've added nanites in there they've added so much much performance in 1.0, saves are now not taking 60 seconds to load or to do an auto save. It's taking seconds. Uh, they've, they've gone through so much. 
um like they've had multiple people saves from the community uh they've had josh's early early days they've had my save they've had bl andrew's save just to optimize and just test things in regards to satisfactory to to see where it is and if you see what his factory was like before if he continues this series it could be 10 times bigger than what it was of them but then also these two things well let's get started as you can see back down here at the hub we now have tiers three and four unlocked which is good because the next thing i want to focus on is coal power because it's only a matter of time until i run out of biomass in fact look at this some of the machines have already run out which means eventually our power is just gonna stop so let's get this one underway oh how i'll never get tired of watching that thing clip through all my stuff and then fly up to all that stuff up there and then parks and rots i mean i get it i love to sit and rot too i don't even think i would have come back so the first thing we need to do to get coal working is we need to locate where the coal is hey see there it goes what did i tell you we ran out of power never has there been a better time to find i wonder if he's gonna go into the the, the crater or he's gonna go to the three pure coal nodes and the one normal node and coal it looks like the closest is this one well time to get going good thing we can speed it up by because in my current playthrough, that iron that he's now consuming there is where my steel plant is. Sliding. You know what's nice too? If ever I feel like I'm lost, all I really need to do is look around and eventually I'll find this. What's that game called? What's that game called? Dying Light. Why do I feel like that's like something you climb in Dying Light, you know? And you've got a parkour. <laughs> A factory that looks like a three-year-old's coloring book. And that's how I know I will always be safe. Okay, getting closer. Only 350 meters away. Oh good, I think I found it. But we have new problems. Like that I'm taking damage just for being in here. But hey, look, I found it. Blah. Great, here's our coal. Thankfully, we can put down a miner from all the way back here. It's that easy. As well as conveyor belts, which I'm going to slowly run all the way back home. Here's the thing, though. I have a certain aesthetic I'm going for here. If you recall, back over here at my other mining facilities, we have a certain flow. And by that, I wait mean everything minute. is hold running through minute. the... Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Wait, 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 wait. As wait, well wait. as conveyor belts, which I'm going to slowly... He's building in creative mode. <laughs> He's building in creative mode. I, I, I think I've just called him out here. <laughs> like I said, you can play the game however, but there's no how much it's going to cost to build this underneath here. <laughs> <laughs> He's building in creative mode right now. We run all the way back home. Here's the <sighs> thing, though. I have a certain aesthetic I'm going for here. If you recall, back over here at my other mining facilities, we have a certain flow. And by that, I mean everything is running through this one space. And so we're going to continue that, you know, to maintain the beauty of my factory. So what I mean to say is we're going to run this conveyor belt all the way around instead of straight across, which is why from this miner here, it goes up here, then all the way down this cliffside before heading into the water and then back out again. And then finally back over to the green part of the game. Run free with the local wildlife <laughs> until eventually you pop out where our biomass burners are. Bean. And then we're back in home sweet home. I did also run around and grab a whole bunch more plants because I still need these things running for just a little while longer. Just long enough to get the coal running. Ah, oh, yeah, there it goes. Sweet, sweet coal. That sure is taking its sweet, sweet time. I would just by using 60 per minute belts. It's going to take some time. Many hours, in fact, actually. If he's going to get it that way, and he's... Ugh, yeah, it's going to take a while. That is going to take a while. How long is this going to take? Excellent question. Let's find out. It took 45 minutes. 45 <laughs> minutes for... <laughs> well. I can believe it. Because I was, uh... ...to reach the rest of my stuff. And this isn't even counting all the time it's going to take for it to go down this conveyor belt all the way over to this thing. So I guess it's a good thing I ran by all the other coal locations and then added miners to all of them. I sure hope that means we have enough coal now. Also, the oh process isn't done. 
That whole network he's got that reminds me of when he did... Do you remember when he did the pipes just going everywhere towards his nuclear plant when he found out that nuclear now needs water and stuff? That's what them belts remind me of right there. Yeah. Even after we find a place to put the generators, you may notice there's two ports on the end. This one on the right is where we bring in the coal, and this one mm. on the left is going to be for water. Because while this thing works, it needs to be cooled. And yes, what I'm saying is we need to bring water to it all the way up there, which is, of course, going to involve building more platforms. Because the things we need to make, like this water extractor, it requires copper sheets, which luckily is... Is he, is he going to use the pond that he, he built this thing on? Is... is Because you can put a one in there, but I'm trying to think of where he's going to go for the... But to be honest, it doesn't matter with Josh. He could put the water extractor on the bloody south side of the map and he'll still bring it over. It's easy. It's just copper ingots turned into sheets. But we still got to make the machine that can do it and make sure that we have copper going into it. You know the drill at this point. Basically, just run around and survey all this garbage until we see somewhere that has copper. And I don't know, this machine looks like it can spare some. Otherwise, there wouldn't be a queue. So we'll just add a conveyor splitter, pull some of that copper away, and there we go. Crisis averted. Horrific mess extended. And now that we've got Got these things being manufactured now we can make all kinds of fun stuff because we're also gonna have to mess with pipes and luckily right down at the bottom of our big tower there is a whole bunch of water so i got a feeling we can just pull from here if it's good enough for that thing it's good enough for us see the water extraction thingy fits perfectly except yep. you see that port where the water is going to be pumped out of we're actually going to rotate that over this way i swear this will make sense because after all we can't just take the pipe and just run it straight on over to this thing no sir we have a system which is to say this pipe network needs to flow through the same corridor as everything else he's built it right under the tower but then uh, <laughs> i've just seen this image oh my god josh <laughs> After all, this is how water Why? wants to be traveling, right? And I'm realizing something I can actually do here is that I can actually run these pipes straight up like this. And actually, for that matter, we also have conveyor belt lifts used to move resources between floors. I don't know. Our system seems pretty effective. So I don't think I'll be going straight up the side of the building. This just seems so much more classy. Yes, that's what we'll call that. Classy. I, I do, maybe I, I don't think he knows about the infinite lift. Where you can, because lifts have a certain height they can go to, right? You can actually break that limit and go to as high as you want. Josh, if you see this, let me know if you want to know how that works. <laughs> where you can get the lift to go infinite. So very classy. I like it. It's like a water park gone horribly wrong. And now that the coal is also going in there, now we have nice fresh coal power. Or actually, I don't think it's working. What do you mean you're not getting any water? I mean, the water thingy appears to be working. Or at least it's on. And if we look over at the pipes, look at that. That's a good thing. That means that water is actually pumping through it. All right, explain to me what's going on. Okay, I see. We're getting okay flow rate. And as we can see, as we go further down, things are still pumping like they should. I don't know. So far are so good even as so we enter this mess where all of thing. our conveyor belts are it looks like the flow is still pretty all right but as the pipe keeps going and we get closer to this thing the water is now just non-existent no problem easy fix all we need to do is make pipeline pumps attaches to a pipeline to apply head lift well those are some fancy words and i'm not an engineer but i think what it means is once i build one of these things it starts doing whatever it's supposed to do in this the let's just go back here he could have placed it just to the right of the belt. Just so the, the, the thumpers are not going in the belt. Pipeline to apply head lift. Well, those are some fancy words, oh, and I'm not an engineer. But I think what it means is once right. I build one of these things, it starts doing whatever it's supposed to do. In this case, I think it's really getting the flow rate up. Because if we head way further down, what used to be empty is now all the way full. Well, good. That seemed easy. And it carries on even as far as this pipe, where it's not quite as much. And then if we head up here and look at this pipe, oh, no, nothing is there. Whatever. I'm sure more pumps solve everything. See? There it goes. Anyway, you get the idea. Basically, the pumps do the hard work of making sure this water keeps flowing. And excitingly, this process works. And it works all the way to the coal factory, which is now online and working like it should. We've done it. We have sweet, sweet coal power running. And since we have seven lanes of coal, obviously we're going to need seven generators and seven total water pipes. No problem. I'll just build as many of these things as will fit in the river. But whatever. If it works, it works. And boy, howdy does it work. This definitely didn't take me hours and hours of time to make sure that water would flow through all of these individual pipes so we can get water all the way to the very top. But what's important is it worked. All the coal factories all the way down all work like a charm now.
It looks like an apocalyptic radio tower. And now I'd love to celebrate this momentous occasion by sending more crap into the space elevator. Doesn't seem too hard, we'll just make versatile frameworks and automated wiring. No problem. We just need to head over to tier 3 and unlock basic steel production, which gives us a foundry, which the iron ore and the coal combine to make steel ingots, which we can then use to make steel beams and steel pipes. And before you know it, a versatile framework is born. And oh my goodness, we're having twins. And into the space elevator they go. And now that that's done, all we need to do is head over to tier 4 and right on over to advanced steel production, which gives us industrial beams, stators, motors, and finally it all comes together to make automated wiring, which is now being shoved into the elevator. And all it costs us to set this up is a whole bunch of more machines and a more horrific amount of conveyor belts. Like every time we add something, I gotta drag more minerals all the way up. For example, when we needed concrete for those encased industrial beams, we had to take this concrete, run it all the way up, and then it climbs basically up the entire tower. All the way from here up to holy <laughs> holy crap what has he done what has he done what has he done why am i not surprised i'm <sighs> and if he does if he does more tears and more milestones in let's say more videos Oh, that's just gonna get bigger, and then and then he's gonna hit the hit the limit to about here until it eventually peels off to go into one of these machines. And then before you know it, the elevator is full and seal. But before we send all that stuff off, I had kind of a thought, which is looking up at all of our stuff, we're not that far from this thing. So I kind of wonder, can we stand on top of it? And the only way we're going to know for sure is if we build up to it. And that's why I built this thing. It's not quite a tornado. It's more like a twisty thing. And you may notice the higher up we got, there seems to be some structural problems because the higher up we got, we started to run into some invisible walls, presumably because of how close we are to this thing. Yeah. And for a while, I could just go around it. But at a point, I just couldn't keep building. Luckily, we're able to remedy that issue by building off to the side, which not only serves its purpose, but looks great. And you might be wondering, why did I build so high? Well, I can demonstrate why. You would think I could just jump down, but no, there's an invisible barrier. Observe. Bounce away. Ow. But now here we are walking on a flat surface. I guess we just can't see. And what's yeah. great too is if we just look at the space elevator, we can access it from here. So now it's time to send and see what happens. Oh, okay, well, no. so far so good. I see nothing get... happening. It's gonna. Oh, <laughs> nope, that was something all right. Okay, now things are moving. Or, well, things were kind of moving. Oh, maybe this is it. This is all that's happening. Oh, I see. Well, I'm glad to see the space elevator is still building while I fall to my death. The sacrifice was worth it to see you grow big and strong. Ah! Really enjoying the view from my corpse. Well, this has been a fun start. I'm really enjoying building vertically. And the nice thing as we look at it, our weird creation is we clearly have lots of room to grow. I want to thank Opera GX again for sponsoring this video. Link you in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. So I hope you had fun. I know I did. And I'll see you next time. I don't know what to say. I actually don't know what to say. The guy's mad. The guy's insane. <sighs> because <laughs> I can answer that myself, because you can. Guys, go and give him a, a click if you never seen his content in the description. And if you want to support him with the Opera GX, like I said, I'll put it in the pinned comment. My name is Bits, <laughs> and I guess I'll see you in another one. So keep smiling. <laughs> and I'll see you then. This guy. This guy, this guy, this guy.